everyone, and welcome to bonus lecture of section 8, Connecting Three Statements. Well, the title of the lecture is slightly misleading, um, because the three financial statements are already connected. What are we going to do in this lecture is to illustrate the connection among the financial statements and understand the dynamics behind them. So now let's focus on how these three financial statements are interrelated. We're going to start with the income statement and our focus will be A. The letter A, we have given letter A to the net income. So the income statement illustrates the profitability of a company. And this is the statement where we can reach the net income for a given financial period. Net income is linked to both to the balance sheet and to the statement of cash flows. In the balance sheet, it um, net income for a given financial period is added on the retained earnings. In the statement of cash flows, it goes at the top of the statement of cash flows before we start making any adjustments. So. From the income statement, we get the net income for the financial year and we add it to the retained earnings in our balance sheet. And we take that net income and we add, uh, put it at the top of the statement of cash flows. This is the profit for the year. Uh, we, are, we want to find the change in net cash. We have to make some adjustments to cash items. And before we do that, we need to plug in the net income from the um, income statement before we make any adjustments. So income statement is linked to both statements through net income figure. Um, now we are going to focus letter B, cash. Um, cash at the end of a financial year can be found in the balance sheet um, under the current assets section. This is linked to the statement of cash flows because when we calculate the change in cash over a given financial period, we need the cash at the end of the previous financial period in order to find the cash at the beginning of this period. So simply, you can think this as two different balance sheets, previous year and next year. So the previous year's cash, B, will be used to find the net, uh, the cash amount in the, in the next year, in the following year. So simply we plug in this previous year's balance sheet cash amount, closing cash amount to the statement of cash flows, cash at T0. That is what we meant um, previous year's closing cash balance. Now we're gonna focus on C, changing cash. Statement of cash flows is also linked to the balance sheet again through the cash item. As we calculate the net change in cash over a given financial period and add or subtract it from the cash at the end of the previous financial period, which is B, we get the cash at the beginning of the following financial year. So we simply link this D item, D, little letter D, into the balance sheet for the following period. So the cash at T0 goes here to find the cash in the following period and we simply link this back to the following year's balance sheet, letter V. Um, each financial um, statement tells a different aspect of a company's financial story, but they make much better sense than seen all together. All right, we covered the theory of the interrelation among three financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the statement of cash flows. But please keep in mind that we will practically link these three financial statements in section 10 when we, will, when we build a full three statement financial model and create link statements for a projection period of 10 years. All right, guys, again, 
we are done with um, bonus lecture of um, section 8 connecting three statements so I see you guys in section 9 ratio analysis